Gloucester on the state's mid-north coast is a town divided over a proposed new coal mine. Some locals are keen on the jobs it'll bring to the region, but others argue the open-cut mine will be a blight on the community. And for the first time, climate change has been cited in a legal battle to prevent the coal mine from going ahead. 34 million tonnes of coal lies at the base of this mountain range. The proposed Rocky Hill coal mine would sit just two kilometres from Ed Robinson's home and 70 others on the outskirts of Gloucester. As a greenfield mine, this one should not be approved because it's just too close to the town. Concerns over the visual impact, dust, noise and increased traffic have galvanised opposition to the mine. Uh, it'll be about uh, four k's from the middle of town. But not all share Ed Robertson's view. No, I'm not worried about it. I know what impacts we'll have, but they're minor compared with the huge advantage to the whole uh, town and the district. The mining company is already helping expand a neighbouring dairy farm, is a major sponsor in town and is promising more than 100 jobs. This main street here is, is suffering um, and there's no one here making any fortunes, I can tell you that. So we need employment and we need young families in this town desperately. The New South Wales government is opposed to the Rocky Hill mine going ahead and late last year the Independent Planning and Assessment Commission rejected it, saying that the social impacts were too great. But that wasn't the end of it. The mining company is now appealing the decision in the Land and Environment Court. This week the court spent two days sitting in Gloucester. No Rocky Hill! No Rocky Hill! Climate change will also be used in the case against the mine, the first time that's happened in an Australian court. Approval of this new greenfield coal mine would be inconsistent with the Paris Agreement and the goal of limiting global temperature increase to well below 2 degrees Celsius. As you can see, the orange flag... Yeah. The company behind the plan says the raw materials under the surface here are in demand. We need steel, we need metallurgical coal and this project meets the requirements and it should be approved. The court's decision is expected early next year and until then this community will remain divided. Ben Millington, ABC News, Gloucester. Still to come on ABC News Sunday.